Compared to other board sports, wakeboarders have a huge advantage when it comes to rails. Besides the fact that we generally hit water instead of ice or asphalt when we fall, we also receive some help and leverage from the handle. Today I'm going to show you an analogy that demonstrates the relationship between the rider and the handle when hitting rails. While hitting rails, the rider can use the handle to start, stop, or change the direction that the board is rotating. This can be a foreign concept to riders who haven't felt this before. To replicate the feeling in your mind, let's compare it to something that you have most likely felt before. Find a stool or chair that pivots or swivels underneath you. Sit on the chair next to a solid counter or desk that you can hold onto. If you face the counter, hold onto the counter with your left hand and push the counter to the left, then your chair will pivot to the right, and the same can be said for the opposite. This sensation is very similar to rail sliding. The counter is like the handle, and the chair is like the board. When you push the handle to the left, then your board will rotate to the right, and vice versa. When this handle leverage is combined with twisting your body, you can rotate the board a full 360 degrees without turning your head. This handle leverage can also be used to stop your rotation or switch directions. The possibilities are endless. Now you can practice your handle leverage anywhere that has a swivel chair. Although, I'd suggest coming up with a creative excuse for when your boss catches you childishly spinning circles at your desk. I don't think blaming us will get you anywhere.